5.2D, area, volume, and temperature, area of a circle. The diameter of the circle is all the way across. Which means if I were to draw a diameter on this shape, I would start at one side and go all the way across to the other side. This would therefore be my D or diameter. A radius is only halfway across. which would mean the diameter would only be from the edge to the center of the circle, and that would be the radius. Pi is a useful number that we will be using. We will abbreviate it to 3.14, but it actually continues on forever without any repeating digits. We therefore can use the formula of a circle which area equals pi r squared, which means we will be using the number 3.14 times the radius squared. Something to keep in mind is that a diameter is actually two radiuses, or a radius times two, which means if I want to find a radius, I may need to take the diameter and divide it by two. In example one, they ask us to find the area of the circle, and they have labeled the radius. We will be using the formula area equals pi r squared. In the first step, we leave pi as a symbol, just as we would leave x in an equation. We will not replace the value of pi until the end. We then put in the radius, which happens to be 4. We then have 4 squared. This gives us an area of pi times 16. We usually rewrite this as 16 pi. Next, we can substitute in the value of pi into this equation, where we will have area equals 16 times 3.14. When I multiply 16 times 3.14, I get 50.24. Remember that units that are forgotten at the beginning are sometimes forgotten in the end. Therefore, you must have your units in at all times. If you have carried your units all the way down your problem, you will then have no problem placing them in your answer. Your answer should be written as 50.24 feet squared. In example two, we are asked to find the area of a circle once again. The only difference is they have given us a diameter. If you are ever given a diameter, all you must do is Find half of it, which would be the radius, by dividing your number by 2. So 16 centimeters divided by 2 will give us the radius. This means that our radius is 6 centimeters. We can now use the formula area equals pi r squared. This will give us that area equals pi times 6 centimeters squared, which will give us area equals 36 centimeters squared pi. We now can multiply or replace in the value for pi, which is 3.14. When we multiply it, we end up with an answer of 113.04 centimeters squared. Remember it is important that area is always a squared value and it is important to always include your units.